Welcome, welcome to another episode of Christian Fitness. I'm your host, Robert, along with my beautiful co-host and wife, Lori, and our intermediate workout partner today is Warren Scott. We've got a good, good program for you today. It is a full body workout. We're going to do some unique exercises. One of them is going to strengthen your hamstring, and it's kind of unique. I think you're going to enjoy it. And today we're going to talk about healthy cooking. You're going to love it. Yeah, that's so important. I mean, we spend a lot of time in this program working out, trying to get you physically in shape. But we also talk a lot about nutrition and fitness facts and healthier cooking. There's some really neat little things we're going to talk about in the kitchen that just make it so much easier. Take the uh, skin off your chicken. That's just one simple tip, but we'll cover a lot more later. All right, round number one for this full body workout. We're just going to stretch for round number one. Let's start at our head and work our way down the body. So let's just tilt our heads forward and back. So just tuck your chin and then lay it back. Tuck it and lay it back. Just nice and relaxed. Hold your shoulders up nice and high. Get nice, correct posture. Good. Now let's open up our shoulders and chest. You're going to bring your arms up and you just want to open your shoulders, open your elbows. Just one at a time. Yeah, good. Just open them up. Open them up. Good. Really feel the shoulders open up. Feel the chest open up. Now let's do a couple more, but let's extend the hands. Okay? So open up and bring the hands all the way out and really open it across. Good, and then back in, open it up, really stretch this upper body. Good. A couple more, and this time as you open it, go ahead and twist a little to the right, twist a little to the left, and then back to the middle. Yeah, you're gonna stretch everything. <laughs> Here, open it up, lean to the right, lean back to the left, really open everything up. Good, and one more, open it up, twist, and twist. We're stretching our shoulders, our chest, our waist, Good, let's do our legs. We just like to do our little knee circles. Okay, so just put your hands on your knees and rotate your knees in a circle. And then we'll, a couple seconds, we'll go back the other direction. Good, let's go the other direction. One of our first exercises today is really gonna work your calves and your ankles. So let's stretch those these last 30 seconds. So your right foot, let's just roll the ankle in a circle. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Make sure it's nice and loose though, because round number two, we're gonna do, I'll, I'll go ahead and give it away, we're gonna do a one foot hop, okay? This really puts a lot of stress on that calf and that ankle. Good, let's do the left ankle. If you haven't joined us yet before, I'm sure you noticed the clock in the corner, we work out for two minutes, and then we take a one minute break. So really push it hard during that two minutes, and then you get a full one minute break. And she sings at the end of every workout round to let you know, okay, you can relax for a minute now, all right? Our fitness facts for today. Lori, what are we gonna talk about today? The fiber found in unrefined whole grain foods can help you lower your blood cholesterol. Very important in preventing heart disease and stroke. You know, the important part of that is that it keeps your blood sugar insulin levels steady. And that also means that it metabolizes more slowly. So that's very, very important. Yeah, and you talk about unrefined, that's confusing to a lot of people. What's the difference between unrefined and refined? In unrefined, the kernel of the whole grain actually stays intact. And there are three parts to the kernel. We're not going to get into a whole class on that today, but there are three parts to that kernel. And that kernel intact is the key to eating the healthy grains, all right? right. And the refined, they break that grain apart, okay? You don't get all three parts of the kernel. And that's where you get into the, the fatty starches and you don't want that. So you want that whole grain and we'll talk about that a couple more times during this show. It is really important to eat that whole grain. All right, next round. You ready, Warren? Excited, ready We're going to do one leg hop. <laughs> okay, so for the right, let's start on the right foot. Beginners, I just want you to raise up and down. Yeah, you support as much as you need to on the other leg. You can lift it off the ground if you want to and just go one at a time. Just raise up one at a time. Good. Keep doing that. At a minute, we're going to change legs. Warren, for intermediates, okay. you're actually going to hop, let's say, four times. So bring that foot off the ground. Just hop. Two, three, four. Then you relax. Four. And relax. We've only got a minute. Of course, 20 some seconds left. Advanced, we go continuous. We're just going to hop on one foot continuous, as high as you can. And at one minute, we'll switch to the other leg. But really force it. As we mentioned earlier, you want to push as hard as you can during this two minutes. Okay? Because you get a one minute break coming up. As soon as she sings, you're going to wait to hear her voice. When she sings, we get that one minute break. So push as hard as you can during this two minutes. And if you just tuned into the show, this is a participating show, so you need to do this with us. Doesn't Good. matter what level. One minute, let's switch. Beginners, just push up and down. Up. Good. And you can lift the leg off the ground. Excellent, Lori. Good. 
Warren's already at his intermediate. He's ready, man. <laughs> Three or four. <laughs> Three or four for intermediates and then rest. Three or four. And if you feel it cramping, you know, feel free to come down and stretch it out if you need to. Advanced, continuous. Just gonna go continuous. Only 35 seconds left. We just keep going. Well, you know, you said something about cramping. That was one show that we talked about hydration. If you cramp when you're working out, that means you probably aren't drinking enough water. Very, very important, drink a lot of water before you work out. Not right before, but if you know you're gonna work out, drink water a half hour, hour before you work out, or for a couple hours, drink your water. That is so important that you hydrate yourself because if you start cramping every time you work out, you are not drinking enough water. There she was, whoo, I needed that. Yeah, if you need to stretch, if you're a little cramped, just. We just like to bend down and just pull your toe back real simply. All right, we call it Christian fitness. What separates us from other workout shows that you might see? We get into the Word of God. Lori, what's our scripture for today? Our scripture for today, I love this, Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love, just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. That is wonderful. Therefore, that you know what that means? It means, therefore, you are to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. And that is so important. That is a Greek word, perfect is a Greek word, as teleos. And that means mature. So that means to walk in maturity. That's wonderful. Amen. Amen. We love, love children. That. We love that. Well, yeah. You know what? The good thing is we talk about scripture in a couple rounds from now, so save some of those thoughts. We'll get back yeah. into that. All right, round number three. This is a reverse lunge. So we want you to step forward if you're on a mat. Make sure you have room behind you. But what we're going to do is we're just going to step with the right leg, step behind yourself, and dip down. And back up to forward. And then you take your left leg back. So you step behind yourself and dip. Come back up and forward. Good. And then just alternate, Lori, as beginners. Just alternate your legs. Good. Warren is an intermediate. Okay. Just go continuous. Go a little quicker than Lori is. And you may do three or four. And then take a rest. Take a breather for a couple seconds. Advanced. We go continuous. Step way back and dip. You want to keep your back nice and straight so you're dropping the back knee. Okay? So step out and drop the back knee. You notice how nice and straight their backs are? Keep that back nice and straight and just drop the back knee. It's quite a bit different than, you know, most, most people are used to doing a forward lunge. And if you're used to doing those, you'll feel a lot different muscle groups here. Okay, this works the thighs a lot differently than a forward lunge. This takes some balance. Yeah, I mean, don't be afraid to, you know, hold on to your workout partner for help or, <laughs> you know, do it next to a wall where you can reach out and you can hold on to the wall. Or if you have a sofa, chair, Tool, whatever you have, if you need it for the balance, use it. But one of the keys to our program is what, guys? What do we always say? Keep moving. Be interactive. Just move. That's right. Get off the couch. Don't make us send that little animated fish in after you, like it did in the opening, where you kick the cartoon characters off the couch. Plus, it's not fair for us to do all the work. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, we talked about cooking earlier. Join us in the kitchen for some more tips. Our nutrition tip today is healthier ways of cooking. How you prepare your food can have a huge impact on the overall health of a meal. Our first tip today is try baking your main dish, whether it's seafood, poultry, or lean meat. My favorite is grilling or broiling. One of the main advantages is that the fat will drip away from the food. You can even grill your vegetables. You just put them in a long-handled grill basket. Another great choice is roasting. Use a higher heat than baking. And for your meats, put them on a rack inside the roasting pan so that the fat can drain out, just like grilling. All right, and there's also poaching, sauteing, and steaming. And remember, for some additional taste and flavor, use herbs. Our nutrition tip for today, part of healthy eating is healthy cooking. We didn't talk about the dangers of frying. Well, that's because there's so much fat in it. I thought everybody knew that. Yeah, well, don't they? I think so. <laughs> the key to that healthy cooking is stay away from fried foods, all right? So pay attention to that. 
Okay, next we're gonna call, what we talked about in the opening is our hamstring lift. This is kind of unique. We want you to step out to the side, and with this other leg, I want you to kick yourself in the back pocket. Then step across to the other side, and kick yourself in the back pocket, okay? Yeah, good, Lori. So beginners, just step at your own pace. You may do one, then two, and then break for a second. Intermediates, follow along with Warren. Warren's gonna do three or four, so he'll go one, two, three, four, and then he'll take a break. Excellent, advanced. We're gonna go continuous. And for the advanced, I actually want you to try to kick yourself in the shoulder or the back of the head, okay? So you see right now, I'm just kicking my back pocket. That's not good enough. For to really get a good hamstring workout, I want you to go higher. Really pull it up, really arch your back, and kick it up as high as you can, almost like you're throwing sand in somebody behind you, throwing a rooster tail, okay? You're at the beach, throwing sand on somebody behind you as they're chasing you. Try to kick it up as high as you can. Kick yourself up in the shoulders. Try not to collide with your husband <laughs> when you're doing this. Yeah, this one takes a little bit of room. So make sure you cleared your furniture out. This is a great exercise. Remember, this show is a participation show. Don't just watch us. Yeah, Do this. In. If you're going to be a witness to the Lord Jesus Christ out on the streets, you need to have some endurance. And that means you've got to stay in shape. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We've got to take care of this temple. And that means to get yourself in shape and have some endurance to do this. And it really stretches the front of the quad. And I just love, you're using the hamstring to pull it, but the front quad gets such a great stretch. You guys doing okay? Is that music helping? Give me some good. inspiration. Ah, oh, there she Thank is. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it was a good one. I was feeling that all the way up into the small of my back. <laughs> all right, our fitness facts, Lori. Told us a little bit earlier about the whole grain and the kernel. What else can you tell us? Well, from the previous one, the definition of that is to choose foods like whole wheat, oats and oatmeal, rye and barley, also brown rice, wild rice, and buckwheat. Those foods are a part of the good foods. Those are very, very important. Those foods will help keep you healthy. Stay away from white bread, regular cereals, potatoes. Those are all starches. Those metabolize much more slowly and they turn into sugars. So you don't want to eat those products because they do. They, I mean, think of white bread. Eat a piece of white bread or roll it up and it gets all stuck, sticky. White bread sticks to the roof of your mouth. You don't want to eat those things. Yeah, can't you use flour and water for paper mache? Oh, that's true. Just imagine that going into your yeah. body. Uh, we don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Next is our bow stance. Let's start with our left leg forward. You're going to put your right leg back, both feet flat on the ground. And for beginners, just squat a little bit and you just hold it right here. And we just hold this. At one minute, we'll switch to the other leg. Intermediates, a little lower, Warren. In advanced, you go down so that your front thigh is parallel. Now, the key to this exercise is that your back leg is locked out. I know mine may not look perfectly straight. That's, I'm going to blame it on being bow-legged, but the back leg should be perfectly straight, okay? And that's where you're really stretching this back quad and working the strength on the front quad, okay? We've got 20 seconds left. You look at the Christian clock, we're going to switch it a minute. So you've got 20 seconds left just to hold this. It's an isometric exercise. It's called a bow stance. It actually comes from martial arts, from uh, some kung fu training, but uh, Today we're just calling it a bow stance and it's going to be an isometric exercise. And you will feel this burn. <laughs> it's a good right, burn though. So here we go, one minute, let's switch. So the right foot comes forward, both feet flat on the ground. Yeah, beginners, lock out the back leg. Excellent, Lori, Warren, nice. Come a little lower, Warren, for intermediates and advance down, let us parallel. Both feet nice and flat on the ground. Really get a stretch on this back leg. And if you want more of a stretch, you can turn your upper body more to the front, really stretch this back hip so you're building strength and stretching, just like the hamstring exercise we did. We were building the strength of the hamstring and stretching the front of the quad. So, you know, getting double duty here. Yeah, for you, the do price get, of one. you do get double duty, <laughs> definitely. And I always said in the past that I didn't ever look at the, the uh, fish and watch them counting, but I am this time, because <laughs> it's burning. Yeah, it's really good. It's good burn. And it's a good exercise to mix in. You know, a lot of people, if you lift weights, you may do squats and do a lot of different things for your thigh strength. It's a great exercise to mix in. 
And there she is. Lori, you glad to hear that singing? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need to stretch, Lori's got it. You just pull the leg up behind you and just hold it for a second or two and relax. All right, we encourage you to go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com. Give us your emails. Give us your feedback. We love hearing from you. And Lori, we heard from uh, somebody watching on KNLJ up in Jefferson City, Missouri. What did they say? Oh, I love this. It was, thank you, CTN, for your vision to help people get healthy and not just in their spirits, but in their body. That was so encouraging to us because that was a burden Rob and I had about people that just had become sedentary and we can't do that. And that was just wonderful because they were thanking CTN, which this is a CTN program. And we we're so grateful to hear from somebody saying that they were grateful that they were being a participant and they were enjoying working out with us. So we thank you for your emails and for your messages. It encourages us, us as we want to encourage you. Yeah, thank you for that, especially in Jefferson City. I spent some time up there, love it up there. Beautiful capital, it's the capital of Missouri, beautiful area. Okay, next round, number six, squat thrusts. Beginners, we just want you to bend down and come back up. So these are basic, simple squats for the beginners and back up. Do as many as you can. That's the key to this program. Anyone at any level can do this program from beginners, intermediates to advanced, okay? So you can maybe do three of these in the two minutes. You may do 20 of them, you may do 60 of them. Warren, a little more difficult for intermediates. Okay. You knew that, right? Yeah, We're going to come down. You're going to step out with your right or left, both feet, then bring them back up and stand. Good. You can just do this continuous as an intermediate. Take both out, come together, and up. And just go continuous as an intermediate. Advanced, about a minute 12 left. We're going to actually do the squat thrust. You want to come down, both feet, bring them back, and stand. We just go continuous as many as you can do for the last minute four. Down, kick out, pull them both in. You're working your whole body here. You've got your arms to support it, your stomach to pull the legs back in, and your legs to push out. And I gotta tell you, when Rob and I first started doing these, I thought, this isn't gonna be anything, honey. The beginners are gonna feel like they're being cheated. They aren't doing what you're doing. But if you keep doing this, and you keep getting up and down, and you do it at any speed, your thighs feel this. So. Keep doing it, push off, go all the way down, and then push back off on your, on your thighs. So you will feel this because you're using your weight. And your thighs are heavy, your body is heavy. Doesn't matter how much you weigh. I'm breaking out in a sweat. <laughs> no sweating on the set. <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> yeah, a little too late for that. Yeah. It's a big difference too between going in two minutes and then just doing a set of like 10 or doing That's a set right. of 15. Like Rob says, exhaust yourself during these two minutes. Woo, thank you, thank you for singing. <laughs> All right, Lori, you talked about being imitators of God, beloved children, tell us some more. And we are beloved children. God looks at all of us as his beloved. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love, just as Christ also beloved and loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. You know, in Colossians, it says, and beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. And if you think of that, we are to put on love as the perfect bond of unity. We all should walk in unity and walk in love towards each other as he walks in love towards us. As we look at ourselves in the spirit, that's how he sees us. Amen, amen, amen. beloved children. Yes. Let's have a seat. <sighs> we probably should have stayed seated for the scripture. We could have just sat down here and talked about the word of God for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, not so lucky today. All right, knee lifts. Just seated. Beginners, I just want you to lift your feet off the ground about a foot with your knees bent and back down. Good, up. And down, and do as many as you can. Push it as hard as you can for the two minutes, because guess what? In about a minute 33, we get a one minute break. So push as hard as you can, whatever level you're at, you can bring them up and hold them for a second. Lori, hold them for a second. Oh yeah. That's burning, right? <laughs> That's a good yes. one. All right, one, intermediates. You do about three or four pumps. Really contract the stomach to pull the knees up. Okay, then you rest after three or four. Really contract the stomach to pull the knees up. And then rest. You can lean back a little further if you want, however you want to do it. Advanced, continuous. We've got a minute six. We're just going to go continuous. Just pumping. 
Yep. Flex the stomach. I'm sorry. As a beginner also, you really don't need to hold. Just it's there to brace you so you don't wobble. I think the most important thing is, you know, you just want some balance. But you're here exercising your core, exercising your stomach. So this is just, don't put pressure on your arms. This is just, I forgot I'm supposed to put my legs down. <laughs> You'll really feel it burning if you just hold in that position. And you can do that too, hold as long as you want. But this is just for a balance. And Warren brought up a great point about this workout, where you work out for two minutes. We designed this not to build up big, huge muscles, all right? If you want to lift weights and, and get very muscular, that's great. What this is designed to do is burn fat, okay? We want to get people healthier. We want to get your cardio up, and we rely on the two minutes to do that. We want to get your cardio up to burn the fat, okay? So we want to get you healthier in that realm. That's right. So push as hard as you can, five seconds left. Either hold it for five or just pump it for the last five. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh. Ooh. Really starting to burn across the front. I felt good. And All right, Lori. We talked about whole grain, unrefined. We'd explain the kernel a little bit. Tell us some more. Wow, this is really important when you go shopping. Check the ingredient list on the foods you buy. Make sure that the whole grain is the first item listed, especially on bread. Aim for 25 grams of fiber each day. But what's important is when you look on the back or the side of whatever it is you're buying, make sure that whole grain is the very first item on the list because that means that it truly is whole grain. If there's a lot of other items first, that means that if there's a lot of other additives or it's refined or something else, and whole grain should be your most important ingredient because that means you're truly getting whole grain. Doesn't matter if it's on the outside of the package, Read the back. That's important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Let's, let's roll around. But yeah, that's great. A lot of people, you know, on their advertising, they'll put on the cover of their bread, whole grain, 100% whole grain. But if it's not the first item listed, they list the items on the back of that nutrition facts in order of importance and volume. So if it's not the highest volume, it's not working. Okay. Laying on your back, you want to pull your knees up for beginners and put them back down. So kind of like what we just did. But roll them up as high as, good, Lori. Roll them up as high as you can. It's gonna work a little bit more on the upper stomach as you get higher, lower stomach down at the beginning. Good, and Warren, for intermediates, let's stop. Extend your legs and push them to the ceiling. And down, excellent, good. It's gonna work the full stomach and down. Good, advanced, legs straight, up, and you push it slowly and come back down slowly. And down, up, slowly. Down slowly. Good. You don't want to just thrust it and let it drop back down. <laughs> you want to thrust, control it, come down nice and slow. Up, control it. Yeah, good. Excellent. Laura, you feeling that? Oh, yeah. I love this exercise. This is one of my favorite ones. The reason why we're doing this all from so that you can see our heads is that we on Christian fitness, because this is Christian fitness, we believe in modesty. <laughs> That's why you always see me wearing long sleeve shirts. This is a fitness show, and I know a lot of fitness shows, people wear other clothing, but we believe so much in modesty. And because of the angle of this exercise, we want to make sure that you see what we're doing, but we want to make sure we're modest on top of that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you are doing this one at home, so you're going to feel stomach muscles that you didn't know you had. <laughs> yes. Or you realize are. that you don't have them. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to figure that out now. <laughs> Yeah, you will definitely I feel your stomach while. burning. And the good thing is I can't see the clock, so I'm just going to listen to her. Thing. Oh, <laughs> good yeah. timing. All Thank right. you, Lord. Yeah, that is a great <laughs> one. If you need to stretch after that, you can just roll over and just arch your stomach this way. That will stretch the entire stomach. So while we're staying in this position, <laughs> we want to talk to you about our website. We invite you to go to christianfitnesstv.com. And that's where you can give us your feedback. You can look in and read some of our nutrition tips on there. What else about the website, Lori? Well, we do have clothing. So look at the clothing. It's one of my favorite colors. I always say that. Pink and hats pink on pink. But the other thing is that we have email available. And we really love hearing from you. The other part is that you also can link on to CTN's website. And that's important. We do a salvation call. We want to know if you've been a part of that salvation call. We want to know that you have been. And also that you can also get in touch with CTN's prayer line and call them for prayer as well. So there is a lot of information on our website. Please 
Check that out, it's important. Yeah, your soul, your spirit is more important to us yes. than your physical body, all right? It's great to have your physical shape, but your spirit is number one. Absolutely. All right, last, last round, we made it. Or some of us did. <laughs> For beginners, we're just gonna do a push-up. So on your knees, just stay there, and you actually you make it isometric for beginners. Just hold it. And keep your stomach tight too though. Don't, you know, relax down. <laughs> keep your stomach nice and tight and just hold this. For intermediates, we want you to actually do a push-up and lift one arm. Then come down, push up, lift the other arm. Push up and lift. And you may say, Robert, he's, you know, he's on his knees. Is that that tough? Yeah, he's gonna be going for what, another minute 20? It's gonna be tough, trust me. Do it at home, go to our website and email me and, and tell me how it felt after a minute or two. The other thing you can do as a beginner is you can bend your arms, put a little more resistance if you wanna just, it's hard doing this because you are lifting, you're holding your body weight up. But you can also bend your arms and you feel a little more resistance as well. So right. whichever you prefer. I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to say it, but for advanced, oh, sorry. even though I've been doing it for about 15 seconds, <laughs> <laughs> you actually wanna come up on your feet into a regular push-up position and go to one arm. It's a regular push-up to one arm. And just keep pumping it. And once again, I can't see the clock, so I'm just gonna listen for her. You're doing good, honey. Am I doing all right? <laughs> Got a nice little sweat puddle going here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's a workout show. It's completely allowed. We're almost done, everybody. Come on, guys, you can done make it. Done well. Hang in there, you can make it. You're doing good, Warren. Love these full body workout shows. Everybody, you've done great. Everybody on this show. Hallelujah. <laughs> I needed that. You know, in every single show, we talk about working out and nutrition, but the most important thing, as Rob said before, is that your spirit is so important to us, but more so to our Heavenly Father because he says that he wishes that no man should perish. So if you want to renew your relationship with Christ, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I know that you died on the cross for me and rose again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with us, share your testimony with somebody, everybody. Yeah, go to ctnonline.com and go to the prayer line there. Call the prayer line and let them know that you receive Christ as your Savior. We always close our program with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. God bless you and thank you for joining us.